Hello, my loves, and welcome to the Perfume Realm. My name is Manahil, and it has been a while since I've posted. And by a while, I mean it's been literally over a year. So yeah, quite some time, long time no see, but I am back and I wanted to make a video on the most delicious edible smelling fragrances in my collection that make you smell irresistible, that will make him want to literally take a chunk out of you. They are that lethally delicious. Like they're so, so good and I'm excited to share them with you. I will get out of the way right now. I uh, put on fake lashes and I suck at doing it and they're just uneven. So don't come for me in the comments. I know, okay, I know, just, leave me alone okay but i'm so happy to be back and i'm hoping i'll be a little bit more consistent this year when it comes to posting videos but we will see you know that's why you should hit the notification bell because with me you really never know when i'm gonna post and that is really the only way you can stay up to date um i would also love it if you considered subscribing down below as well um, I also have a little sneak peek fragrance unboxing to do for you. I got sent a fragrance by Martin Mikolaev and it is a men's fragrance. I thought it would be perfect to open up for this video just um, so we can have a new fragrance to smell, to experience together. And maybe it could be a great Valentine's Day present for a loved one of yours. So we will get into that in a little bit as well. Okay, I decided I wanted to do the unboxing first of course they sent it in the beautiful martin mikolaev packaging they always do such a beautiful job when it comes to presentation i'm a huge huge fan of this house so when they reached out regarding uh this new fragrance that they're launching i was so so happy i always hate unboxing because i'm like one of those people who hate ruining uh beautiful packaging but alas here we go the ribbon off. Ooh. Okay, so this fragrance is called Red Colorado. It is a men's fragrance, and on the box it says, Let's get wild. So I will say my predictions because I did not, they sent me like information on the scent and everything, and I did not read it because I really wanted to kind of experience this completely without any uh, idea going into it. So I really don't know what to expect, but just because it is called Red Colorado and a lot of red fragrances that I've experienced are often spicier and warmer. And then Colorado, the state in general, I always just think of warmth and sun and, and I don't know, that kind of a vibe. So my guess is that this is going to be kind of a spicier, warmer fragrance, but let's see. And they have this little leather pouch with Mikolaev on it. I don't know what's in here, probably, let's see. Wait, this is so cute. Okay, I love this. Oh my goodness. They have little jewelry in here. This is giving me uh, David Yerman vibes, but like how? cute is that i love it okay so that was the little pouch okay so there's this little booklet in there um let's see what this is all about i'm interested in seeing why they chose colorado what inspired this because it is a you know french house so i'm just wondering maybe they visited colorado or something but if you open this up it has Oh, okay, so this is like a little journal. I really, really like that. I'm actually going to use this journal for my fragrances. This is such a nice touch. I love touches like this and getting spoiled. I'm super excited for this fragrance. Okay, and then the fragrance is right there. So it is in their rectangular bottle. So let's smell it. This actually matches my little Valentine's Day sweater perfectly. All right. Ooh, okay. Okay, let's do it right here. Oh my God, that is lovely. You guys. 
That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. I really, really like this. This is so lovely. So right off the bat, there's this beautiful combination of sweets and spices right like in the beginning. I get both this kick of spiciness, but also this beautiful sweetness that I was not expecting. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I get this beautiful woodiness to the scent. There's this really obvious, just woody base to the scent that is really, really lovely. And I feel like there's also some kind of like a piney scent to it as well, um, which I really, really like. Like there's a freshness to it, you know what I mean? Like you're in a fresh wooded area. So I feel like there's woods as well as like this kind of uh, balsam or like fir or pine kind of vibe as well. And then there's this beautiful sweetness. It's obviously a vanilla. You can just tell that it's this really beautiful vanilla as well. And there's a spiciness that I really cannot pinpoint what kind of a spice it is. Maybe it's saffron, maybe not, I'm not sure. But it's not like an uncomfortable spiciness. I'm very picky with spicy fragrances. Sometimes they can be a little bit much, but this one is a really nice, smooth spiciness. It's not anything that's too abrasive, nothing too aggressive. What I really like is this kind of sweetness. To me, it has almost like a resinous quality to it but i don't know if there's any resins in here maybe it's the woods that are used in this that are giving me a feel of you know resin and warmth but there is this kind of like sappy sticky sweet resinous quality that i really really like about the scent as well so i'm really really happy with that i think that it's actually a very unique beautiful scent for a man i actually think that i'm probably going to be wearing this on myself i think that this can easily be a unisex fragrance but it is definitely masculine leaning you know it's like a woody masculine scent with a little kick of a sweet spiciness to it i think that this is absolutely lovely and i can't wait to get a little bit more familiar with it look through the notes and everything and really uh just get to experience it a little bit more but just off of first impressions dead serious this is a really gorgeous scent so anyways this is red colorado from martin mikalev and wow is this one a beauty this is gorgeous all right let's jump into the video let's talk about the most delicious edible irresistible smelling fragrances in my collection i want to start off with one that i have been wearing a lot ever since i got it i've actually put kind of a little bit of a dent into it already for a newer fragrance in my collection which is saying something for sure so this is andalusian soul from merchant of venice and you guys i feel like this one is going to be like the next fragrance community obsession because it is so stunning it is a delicious beautiful robust vanilla fragrance and the scent is basically an elevated, more opulent version of Warm Vanilla Sugar from Bath & Body Works, which is one of their most popular fragrances. Now, I'm hoping I'm not doing a disservice by comparing the scent to a Bath & Body Works scent. I am not saying that this smells cheap or like it's just, you know, a body mist type of a scent. It's not. Like I said, this is the richer, more opulent sister to warm vanilla sugar, but I will say that the scent profile is very much the same. So if you like that really sticky, warm, cozy vanilla fragrance, then you are going to love Andalusian Soul. I'm very picky with vanilla fragrances because there are so many on the market, but this one really knocked it out of the park. It has civet in it, which I think really makes this a little bit more intriguing than just the basic warm vanilla sugar scent from Bath & Body Works. The civet really makes it 
a little bit more carnal, a little bit more animalic, and it really adds just, it's not animalic in a sense that it's uh, challenging. I personally don't find this scent to be a challenging one. They did not use civet in all of its gore. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not in that intense, level that civet can be at it's definitely a tame civet but it is in here and it does make this far more intriguing it really adds a lot more depth to it this is a very warm and resinous sense it has labdanum in it which adds the resinous quality to it as well it has amber in it which is the warm heart that really radiates um and i think that especially as a winter and fall fragrance this is phenomenal but this can easily be a very versatile year-round scent as well but let me tell you if you are wearing this already vanilla is an aphrodisiac this right here is a love potion in a bottle because it is vanilla but at the highest caliber ever since i got it its status has just gone up and up in my collection and i find myself reaching for this one all the time um i find that this would be an amazing date night fragrance but you can also wear it to work which is really nice too just be careful because you're going to have your co-workers and your clients falling in love with you so if you want to be a little shady and kind of you know uh get them under your spell you can do that and use this beautiful scent all right next up i'm going to mention lost cherry but i'm not mentioning lost cherry alone the reason i want to mention it is because several of these fragrances i feel if you add lost cherry to these scents it is just going to make them five times more magnetic and a lot more sultry as well. So I will explain. For example, I have a few chocolate fragrances with me. This one is Amber Chocolate. This one is from La Via del Profumo. This is a bitter, dark chocolate scent. It's honestly an amber scent that gives off the illusion of dark chocolate, but to me, it just reminds me of a very high quality, bitter, dark chocolate. And to kind of cut the bitterness, but also add a little bit even even more of an edible quality to the scent, I think adding lost cherry will just make it a lot more delicious. So talk about like, you know, chocolates and cherries and roses and all of that. Like this is right up that uh, Valentine's Day alley. Take a beautiful chocolate fragrance that you have and add a little bit of lost cherry and you have a combination that is to die for. To be honest, I think that some people try to layer fragrances and it just does not work. But I will say that this combination is foolproof. A chocolate fragrance with lost cherry is a foolproof layering combo that even someone who is not very experienced with fragrances or maybe doesn't have the best layering nose can honestly pull off so again lost cherry if you're familiar with my channel at all you know that in the beginning i used to be a little bit uh not like a hardcore lover of lost cherry i actually had bought myself a bottle and gave it away to a friend because i did not love it uh but over time i found myself to really love this fleshy sultry deep red cherry it's so juicy it's got this beautiful fleshiness to it you can actually kind of get that rind of the cherry that kind of bite that a cherry has to it in this scent which i really like i would also say that dossier's oriental cherry um is a really great dupe i have that scent as well and i think that uh, for a lost cherry dupe, it's a really good one because some of them just don't hit the spot. They don't have that balance. They're either too sweet. They don't have that three-dimensional uh, property that this scent has, but that one is definitely a good one. Another fragrance that I love that I think would do phenomenal with lost cherry layered with it, but also on its own, it's one of those he's going to want to take a bite out of me because it smells so good is late de chocolate from shabad 
This is a pure milk chocolate. I have smelled a lot of scents that are supposed to smell like milk chocolate and I just feel like they do not hit the mark. This one is a true milk chocolate. I feel like sometimes they end up smelling very coconutty. This one smells like to me a true milk chocolate scent and the longevity isn't too terrible either which I really love about this scent as well. But this is such a yummy scent and again perfect for Valentine's Valentine's Day because uh, you are going to smell edible, but it's also a very wearable scent. It's not too heavy and it's not too dense that it can become like overwhelming. You have to be a little careful with these gourmand fragrances because sometimes they can end up smelling like a candle, like too, too heavy, too... I don't know how to explain it, but like a home candle can get away with that sometimes, but you know, a perfume has to have a level of wearability to it. And I do think that this one does. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. This is such a nice one. And if you just want to add a little bit more depth and intrigue and just a little bit more of a playfulness, a dynamic quality to this scent, I do think that adding um, a scent like Lost Cherry is great. Oh my goodness gracious, my foot is falling asleep. I'm like sitting on it and it has fallen asleep. But next up we have another chocolate scent. I think this is the last, yeah, this is the last chocolatey fragrance um, in this video and it is from Panal London. This is Pink Marc de Champagne Truffle. You guys, if you want a scent that is playful, that is flirty, and that is mouth-watering, this scent is the one to go for. You actually will smell like a strawberry dipped in chocolate served with champagne. Now, I don't drink alcohol, but I do know about the quality of champagne, that it's fizzy, that it is effervescent, that it is bubbly, and this scent has a true champagne quality to it. It is fizzy, it is effervescent, it is bubbly, and it also has with it not only the drink of champagne, but that really luxurious gourmet ripe strawberry that was dipped in this fine milk chocolate. It is delicious. It is very well balanced. It is a super unique fragrance. You're not going to smell like anyone else, but you are going to smell edible. You are going to smell like a snack. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. So the strawberry is not only this beautiful, juicy, sweet strawberry, but it also has this tartness to it, which I really like because it makes it seem a little bit more realistic. It's not just this like fake strawberry. It's a really well done strawberry. And strawberry is a very difficult note to nail, I have figured. Um, I don't know if strawberry is actually listed in there, but I smell strawberry. I actually don't know off the top of my head if strawberry is listed, but I smell strawberries dipped in chocolate. It's an artisan scent for sure. Panal London Pink Mark Day Champagne Truffle. All right, so again, if you are at all familiar with my channel, you know that I love a fragrance that is called La Danza de Libelou by Noble 1942. It is one of my favorite gourmand fragrances of all time. And they came out with an extra version of this perfume, which means a more intense version of this perfume. It is called La Danza de Libelou the exceptional edition and my goodness is this an exceptional fragrance everything that you love about la danza de libelou from the original one is there the og is 100 percent there they did not take away from the og they did just add a lot more intensity to it and it is a lot more robust it's a little bit heavier than the original the original has a little bit more of a fresher quality or i will say that the original has basically two parts to it. It has this opening part, which I always say smells like the actual act of baking of an apple pie. So like all of the preparation, all of those raw ingredients before they have melted together and warmed up and started baking. And then there's like kind of the baking and post baked uh, apple pie uh, segment of the perfume, which is warmer. Everything has blended together and kind of caramelized a little bit. I will say that this one also has those two phases, but that fresh opening phase is 
a little bit more short-lived and more emphasis is placed on that baking and post-baked phase where it's really warm and caramelized and rich and gooey and delicious. So if you want to smell like a beautiful uh, apple pastry, this is the scent to go for. It has this delicious crisp red apple. It has cinnamon in it um, that isn't too, you know, abrasive, just the perfect cooking cinnamon, sweet and sugary and delicious. Um, it has this nice vibrant bergamot that really opens the scent up. It adds a little bit of a nuance to it and also breaks up the scent a little bit. Even though you wouldn't think bergamot would be in um, an apple pie, it does kind of create a little bit more of a three-dimensional quality to the scent so it doesn't fall flat. And then of course, there is this beautiful, delicious vanilla in there, kind of a cooking vanilla uh, that mingles with the cinnamon and that uh, caramel apple it's a delicious scent but this one this version is definitely a stronger uh, better lasting and more robust version of the original scent so this is La Danza de Libelou by Noble 1942 so this is a big love for me and I think a fantastic scent if you are trying to make someone fall head over heels for you Next up, we have another fragrance that I think is actually very, very affordable. It is from the house of Theodorus Calatinis. I have bought several fragrances from this house um, after purchasing this one just because I loved this one so much. This is my favorite coffee fragrance that I have ever come across and I have come across a lot of coffee scents. I'm very, very picky with my coffee fragrances. I do want the actual coffee note to smell realistic, but I also don't want it to smell um, burnt and overly bitter like a lot of fragrances often do for me. A lot of coffee centric fragrances do end up feeling a little bit bitter um, and just kind of like, you know, plain uh, black coffee that has been sitting out for a while. It's just not appealing to me because the kind of coffee that I like to drink often does have cream and sugar and flavoring in there. So Coffee Addict is definitely a coffee lover's fragrance, especially for someone who likes to add a little bit of cream and sweetness to their coffee. This is coffee, this is caramel, this is vanilla, and this is cacao, all blended together to create this ultra realistic coffee shop scent. It smells like you're going into a really high-end coffee shop. Um, the coffee itself itself smells fresh. It doesn't smell like it's been sitting in the pot. It smells like it is freshly brewed and um, flavored with a little bit of beautiful rich caramel and a touch of vanilla in there as well, uh, stirred and blended to perfection. And it's actually extremely wearable. A lot of these fragrances that I've listed, I picked out because they're also quite wearable because I do have one coming up that I will share that I love the scent of but it is a little bit trickier to wear because of how heavy it is and how ultra realistic it is. This one actually still does smell like a perfume. Like you're not going to smell just like straight up food. It still does have a perfume quality, which I really enjoy. Um, so Coffee Addict by Theodorus Calatinis. If your man is a coffee lover or the man you are trying to uh, have fallen in a trance under your spell, like if that guy is a coffee lover, this is the scent to do it. This is the scent that's going to have him sniffing the air. Every time he enters a coffee shop, he's going to be like, damn, this smells like that girl. Like this smells like her or like, oh, you smell so good. You smell like a delicious, freshly roasted coffee. Like it's just so, so good. And again, this one you can actually pair with Lost Cherry as well if you want to get a little fancy with it. Um, but it's beautiful on its own as well. This one is not as romantic. The other ones that I listed, the chocolate ones, they do have kind of a romantic edge to them. This one isn't inherently romantic. Like you wouldn't smell this and inherently find it to be romantic, but it's so delicious and so mouthwatering and so 
yummy that that it's just going to have someone want to press their nose up into you like if they smell you they're just going to want to smell more of you like they want to get a bigger handful of you if you know what i mean like you smell so good they're not going to want to let you go their nose is going to want to be like pressed up into your neck like just huffing you that's how good you're gonna smell so this one isn't inherently a romantic one but i still had to list it because it is one of those like you're gonna smell like a snack type of a fragrance all right next up we have an affordable fragrance as well and this one is vanilla bourbon from mixed bar you can get this from target you guys, my best friend introduced me to this fragrance because honestly, I was not giving it the time of day and I should have. And after that, I ended up smelling a few different fragrances in Target and actually really loving them. But this one is the only one that I actually love from Mixed Bar. And this is, again, Vanilla Bourbon. This is such a nice, cheap vanilla fragrance because vanilla, when it is cheap, can sometimes have cheap written all over it you know what i mean like you can tell that it's not a high quality vanilla it's a tricky note because if you don't do it right it does smell like the price that you paid for it sometimes but this one this one smells very very rich and lavish in my opinion um it does have this beautiful bourbon boozy quality i do have an inkling that the Amber is creating that kind of booziness, mixing in with the sandalwood, creating a nice smooth quality to it, which I, I really love about this scent. It's not harsh or abrasive. It does have this really nice blended smoothness to it, which I love. This also has apple blossom in it, which I love because it kind of adds this nice like openness in the scent. It really like aerates the scent and adds a little bit more, um, I don't know how to explain it, but like a vastness within the fragrance. It's not this like thin, linear, two-dimensional, superficial smelling scent. It has this nice like warm core that just kind of opens up. And I think that the warm core is obviously that amber. And then this like openness comes from like the apple blossom mixing with the jasmine. It's just a really, really, really lovely scent. The jasmine, I think is used really, really well in this scent um, to kind of push the vanilla forward. I feel like it's really interesting to use a white floral, not for the white floral sake, but to actually push forward the vanilla and kind of give it something to stand on and to really kind of let it shine a little bit more. Uh, it's like the perfect backup dancer for this vanilla. It's really interesting and um, it's going to have them hooked. This is one of those fragrances that is going to have them hooked, plain and simple. Whoever it is, whoever is smelling you, this is going to get them. Like, this is going to get them. You want to smell yummy on Valentine's Day. You're trying to get someone under your spell. This is the one to go for. So I did mention that I did have a tricky uh, fragrance on uh, the list. This is a tricky fragrance to wear. It's from Josette. Josette. I don't know how to say the name of the house. It's actually um, really, really, really upsetting. I just cannot pronounce it for the life of me. But this is Accident à la Vanille. This is such a decadent, buttery, rich, thick, cake-like fragrance. It's a very thick vanilla cake uh, type of a scent. The reason it is so hard to wear is because of how heavy and rich it is. Like, you're really going to have to cut through the scent with a knife and i really don't think that many people could pull this off in the summer or in the heat because of how heavy it is but if you wear this in the winter time you are going to smell so comforting and yummy and delicious like this is really quite a cozy fragrance i think it's a great netflix and chill type of a fragrance or even just you know going out um for dinner type of a scent you are going to be competing with the food though if you are wearing this scent and you're wearing it out to dinner like it's going to be between you and the food who's he gonna eat first like we don't know type of a situation um it is that intense but it is still a very, very lovely scent. It's like one step away from smelling almost too realistic. Um, but again, it's a very moist and buttery cake. 
uh, type of a scent. It's really, really well done. It smells extremely expensive. So the quality is definitely there, but you know, wear at your own risk for sure. All right, last but not least, I have Angel Muse. It's my good old Angel Muse. This one I always have to mention because it is such a beautiful hazelnut fragrance. It's a chewy scent. It has patchouli in it. It has vetiver in it. It has hazelnut in it. It has a little bit of pink pepper in the opening. It's really a standout fragrance. It's definitely one that is going to get you noticed. It is definitely one that I think smells super delicious and smells super duper expensive as well. The reason I say expensive is because for me, like fragrances, you can smell the quality of them. And so sometimes, you know, cheap fragrances can smell cheap and sometimes really expensive fragrances can smell cheap. And that's just like, not what I want for a fragrance. I don't want to, if I want to smell like, oh, she just smells nice and that's it. Like she just smells pleasant, but like you, it's not, you know, the quality that you care about, then I'll just spray a body mist. Like that's just like a body mist. But if I'm going to be putting money into a fragrance, even if it's a cheap one, like I want it to smell luxurious. I want it to smell like an experience. I want it to smell high quality. And so that's why, you know, I keep mentioning that. To me, I, I don't really care if it's, it's not about like the status quo of the scent per se. It's not like, oh, I smell I, like so rich. Like, look at me, I smell like a rich person. It's not that, that's not what I mean. I mean like quality wise, okay? When I say expensive, I mean the quality. I'm all about craftsmanship. I'm all about um, wearing something of the highest quality, something that you can smell, some love has gone into it. Just like clothing, you know, like you want the stitching to be really great quality stitching. You just don't want to wear something that feels or looks cheap in quality. So I'm never talking about like, oh, it's so rich and expensive just to be like bougie, just to be bougie. I don't really believe in that. For me, like being bougie is like, actually having the quality to match you know what i mean i don't want that like surface level superficial bouginess i want that like next level bouginess that even what you're wearing even if it's cheap it's like high quality you can tell it was like handcrafted or finely crafted or given a little bit of love when it was made the ingredients are great the craft or the composition if it comes to a fragrance was great you know that's what i'm talking about but this one definitely is one of those fragrances that is super super affordable and smells really really high quality so if you want to smell like a delicious nutella snack this is the one to go for it all right, my loves, thank you so much for joining me on this video. I'm so happy to be back and I'm hoping that I can pump out more content for you guys. I really hope that I'm consistent this year, but I'm not giving you guys my word because you guys don't deserve to be treated like that. I will not give you my word, but I will say that I will try my best to be more consistent. So again, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because I am inconsistent and that is the only way to know if I'm posting. Um, but I hope you are all doing well and stay fragrant. Love you guys.